Hi, uh, just super quickly, I was putting some snake poop into my compost and I noticed there was a lot of um, mites. I've googled them, I, at first I thought they might have been worm eggs, but then um, they are not. So I've, um, I'll have i just quickly show you. So at first you will notice, well I noticed, um, these weird patches. I didn't really understand what they were all around the top and they're on the inside as well but if you come in real close and you have a look at them through the top as my camera zooms and if you sit here long enough you'll actually see them moving which I thought was really interesting so yeah anyways compost has mites um, it's not the end of the world, it is quite gross and um, it's because I've been putting too much um, food in for the worms to keep up with. So there's a snake poop, I fed a quail and it didn't quite agree with her so that's going in there. Um, the snake poop's the only poop I chuck in here, um, otherwise it'll definitely get overloaded so um, because obviously I got the, the dogs as well. But um, yeah, snakes don't poop much, it's like once a month or so. I have a tiny little cockroach in there. Right there, I wonder if it will move again. Hey little dude. Hey little cockroach. Which is good, they're little breakdown is, but yeah. This is what mites look like. I think they're the white spider mites, which is different to mites you'll find on plants. Um, these guys actually aren't that bad. They break down um, compost just like worms do. The only problem is they can compete with the worms. So this is the first time I've dug through here in a long time. I'm interested to see if I find anything. When I first started I was fine with just sticking my hands in here but um, over time, it's gotten progressively grosser, so I um, am not. It's a good habit to dig through these pretty regularly. The worms like the like the airflow, so um, it's quite good to make sure you dig through. There we go. Some worms, where are they? They're very quick to bail again. There are some. So they're actually preferring the wet material, so... Um, <clears throat> because the only threat these guys really have is competition, I might actually let it stay pretty wet because the worms aren't in this dry stuff at all where they're sticking to the edges where it's all wet so I might um, leave it pretty wet I'm dig down a bit deeper see what we can find What's well, good? I'm glad they're still in here. <laughs> I was a little bit worried for a while, thinking they'd all died. And then finally down to um, their original bedding. So yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to finish turning this and um, I might add some water. We'll see how we go. I'm going to turn it. I need to add some grass and stuff so I might do that and let that be the wet that I've added and um, we'll see how we go. So I just added grass, <coughs> some bok choy from the garden 
and then heaps and heaps of quail bedding. I gave it a really good wet down. Let's see some mealworms in here still. These quails are useless. Mealworm. Um, so that's good. And even now you can't, you wouldn't even know that I put water in it. I put nine liters in. So I'm going to check it later and see how it holds up. So today hopefully I've sorted the compost. Um, I'm going to start getting into these garden beds and prepping them for my spring slash summer plantings. And um, yeah, even though, though my winter stuff is still well and truly doing its thing. So I've got my broccoli, which is nowhere near doing much at all. I've just added some hay. Um, I've got my carrot here. I've put some hay in there for them too. I've cut back some of the bok choy. So it's just growing crazy. Um, I've removed all the weeds from around the garlic and then put some hay in for them as well. They're a little bit miserable. Garlic doesn't seem to like me much. But um, hopefully, now that it gets some sun, it'll bounce back. I've just started clearing it here. So I've got onion in here, which I'm going to thin and replant. And I had a single onion from the compost, which was there. I forgot about it and ripped it out. So I'm going to replant this one as well. This was a um, leftover piece of onion, which just started to grow. So I thought, why not? Stick it in the garden. I was hoping to get some flowers from it. And um, use those flowers to get more onions, which will be better suited to my horrible gardening style. And then um, if it's not too hot, it's already really hot, so um, I might not, but if I can, I plan on getting into here. So I need to remove all the weeds around my pineapple, remove all the weeds around my turmeric, and then clear out these two garden beds. I'm interested to see if there's any sweet potato in there. I planted a lot of sweet potato and it was growing really happily but the grass has, you know, evidently taken over so um, we'll see. I'm, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Okay, so first bed done and just the other one to do. I'm going to run through what I did. Um, I quite like my method of I pull out the weeds, um, dig the dirt up, put the weeds like right at the bottom um, and then put the dirt back on top so when the weeds break down the plants that are planting in there can use them so um, you know make the best of a bad situation but as to my surprise I have sweet potatoes so they're not huge this is probably the biggest one um, it has little divots and stuff because the dirt was um, lumpy and clay, but they're not too bad. I'm actually really, really happy. This was the first one I found. I was like, ooh, yay. And I've, I've accidentally chopped a couple of bits. And then I've got my onion, which I plan on replanting, and then the actual sweet potato. So I plan on separating these and replanting. So hopefully I'll get... Um, more sweet potato which means I'm definitely gonna have to do the the beds along the house because that's where I want to put the sweet potato because it can kind of run rampant along there and it doesn't really get in the way so um, it's gonna be a busy day but um, I'll run through what I do with the um I've got the second garden so I'll, I'll um, explain how I work the weeds and to back into the bed so this is the second bed and I just rip the weeds up, shake off as much dirt as I can, and then I'm just going to pop them in a pile that's going to be my weed pile. And then um, when I come across non-weeds, like these guys, look at that, sweet potato! <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, when I come across 
um, lawn weeds. I'm going to put them next to the weed pile so I don't mix them up. Not that I will, but um, I don't know whether there's a will, there's a way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to come back once I've, all these weeds are pulled up. And then I'll show you the next so, step. I've pulled up all the weeds. I've left the onion. Um, I forgot about it, so it's quite mangled. Um, but I'm going to leave that. I'm going to add some mulch around it. I've left this weed only because it makes good flowers. So um, the bees love it. So I'm going to leave that one. It doesn't take up much space. But what I'm going to do uh, is um, go through and pick out all the sweet potato. So while I'm searching for the sweet potato, I've left a hole here, then I'm going to refill that with some grass. I try to ball it up, I don't want any of the grass to not get buried. So um, the trick to not having the grass grow back is it doesn't get any light. And then that will break down. And I'm going to start on this side. And then um, hopefully find some more sweet potatoes. All those came from just that one half. So I'm going to go through the other half and see what I can find. Yeah, I wasn't ex as successful on this side, but it doesn't matter. I've still got heaps and heaps and heaps of sweet potatoes, which is really awesome. But I'm just going to stick some grass in there. Make sure it gets good and buried. And then bury it back over. I'm going to add some mulch just to ensure um, the grass doesn't get out. Super easy. I'm going to be a little bit more gentle with the onions because I do want these guys to survive. I'm going to give these guys a really good water. Okay, so um, I forget what I was up to, but I've pulled out all the weeds and um, turned the beds. So I've only pulled the weeds in here and then I put a layer of um, the compost chicken bedding, um, top quail bedding. Uh, I'm definitely having a break after this. That was exhausting. So these um, dug all the way to the bottom. And then did like I did with the other garden beds, put a grass in, then I added a bit of dirt, then I did another layer of grass just because these beds are so much deeper. Then I got the quail bedding and then added it on top, but then mixed it through. So um, it's going to be a little bit nicer because the dirt, especially this bed, was really clay yuck. So um, yeah, then I got this one. And then these two. So I'm gonna separate all the sweet potatoes and get the, I forget what they call, these bits. When you cut them, they're, I think you call them slips. And then I'm gonna replant all these three with sweet potato. And because I really like sweet potato. Um, while I'm at it, I'm gonna um, fix up my old pumpkin pot. This is what I usually grow pumpkin out of. Um, I'm going to pull this up as well and fix that up. I haven't got any pumpkin seeds at the moment. Um, I'll have to cut. I've got a butternut inside so I'll cut that up and, um, and plant some seeds. So might have pumpkin and sweet potato soup for dinner um, with all the sweet potatoes I have. I'm actually really impressed with, um, for, with all my sweet potatoes. So this is the biggest. It's, um, this is the oldest. This is from those big beds. Um, 
it was in there for a while and then um and then all my other ones oh my onion i'm gonna super quick plant that onion before i do anything okay. onion planted now i'm going to sort out these slips and then replant So now I've got them all separated. Um, nice little pile just next to me. I'm gonna plant them up into the garden. planted. I'm going to top them up with some hay. There we go. I've put hay over the top. I ended up pulling this one too. This had sweet potato in it as well so I've chucked a couple slips into there um, and topped that up with some hay. I threw some dirt on top just because and um, there's a big grate. That is to stop the dogs from getting to it dogs love the compost and hay and dirt and destroying every garden I ever make so um, hopefully that protects the sweet potato some but yeah thanks for watching and um, I'll be posting another update see how my worm farm goes and and see how the sweet potato grows